Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Oh, Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, Know that the ride or die. I'm a oh, Know that the ride or die. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Oh, Want to create a unique speed ramping effect for your own? Wondershare has added a new feature called speed ramping in Filmora 11 which allows you to adjust the speed of the video to create cinematic effects. This feature can be accessed in three ways. If you have a clip in the timeline, you can right click on it and select speed ramping from the speed menu. You can also access it from the tools menu. But the simplest way is to click on the speed icon and then select speed ramping from here. Up here at the top, we have the newly added speed tab, which has two sub tabs uniform speed, which is the old school way of changing the speed of the clips, and speed ramping, which has settings to create the speed ramping effect. As you can see, we have a lot of buttons here. The first one is none, which is selected by default, so there is no speed ramping effect. If I go to customize now, I'll get this graph, this line and some adjustment points. Also the speed ramping level appears on the clip here in the timeline. If you mistakenly close the speed tab, you can reopen it by clicking on this level. Here at the top of the graph, we have some controls. If I hold down the end point of this clip in the timeline, the duration of the clip appears in the tooltip. This duration is shown at the top of the graph. The first timestamp here represents the clip's original duration and the second is the updated duration after applying the speed ramp effect. Because I haven't changed the graph yet, both are showing the same time values right now. In this graph, the horizontal axis shows the clip's duration and the vertical axis represents the clip's speed. One X is the clip's normal speed. You can add adjustment points by first placing the playhead at the desired location and then clicking the add adjustment point button. If you look at the button now, you will notice that its shape has changed and the tooltip now states delete adjustment point. You can delete a point by clicking on it. I can move a point on the graph by clicking and dragging it. Now I'm going to click customize to reset the graph and then I'm going to erase this center point. I'm going to move the second point around 1.15 second mark. As I drag the mouse, I can use the playhead position field for checking the current time. Now I'll set both the first and second points to 2.5x speed. You can see the current speed that the point refers to in the tooltip. I'm going to shift the third point at 3.20 seconds while keeping the speed at 1x. If I play the sequence, you will notice that speed gradually decreases from the second to third point. Now I'm going to position the playhead at 4.23 seconds and then click the add freeze frame button. I'm going to set the freeze time to 3 seconds and then click OK. The freeze point has a different shape than the adjustment points and the freeze frame duration is shown in the timeline by this grey strip. If I play the sequence, you will see that the clip pauses for 3 seconds. Now if I want to store this graph to use in another video, I'll click the save as custom button and give the preset a name. This preset will be displayed at the top of the graph. To delete a preset, move the mouse over the clip and then click the bin icon. We have some built-in presets here that you can utilize with your clips. Let's create a graph for this clip.
Changing the video's speed may result in a shift in audio pitch. If you enable the maintain audio pitch checkbox, Filmora will maintain the existing audio pitch during speed ramping. When you are satisfied, click OK to accept the changes. So that's a look at the speed ramping effect. We have learnt how to make the speed ramping transition in a previous video. Wondershare has included a new function called speed ramping to Filmora 11 that simplifies the process of producing the speed ramping effect. Speed ramping is a method that creates a distinct cinematic effect by speeding up and then slowing down the shots. This effect involves the clip speed ramping up at the end of a clip followed by a cut. The speed in the second clip starts quickly and gradually decreases to make a seamless transition. Here we have four different clips. Let's first split them to make some room for the speed ramping effect. Now I'll select this clip and apply the speed ramping effect to it. I'll choose flash out preset and then tweak the graph in the speed ramping tab. I want to speed up the clip at the end. Therefore, I'll shift these two points to the left. From this point until this point, the speed is normal. And then it increases to 5 times up to this point. And then stays at 5x for the rest of the clip. Now I will select this third clip and this time I'll select the flash in preset and then slide the points to the right. Let's apply this effect to other clips. Now I would want to add some shake to these transitions. So I'll go ahead and browse to the effects tabs shake filter category and then add chaos 1 to the timeline. I'll keep the effect on for a bit longer than the transitions time. Now let's modify the frequency. I'll double click chaos 1 to open the effect tab and then set frequency to 5. I'll copy the effect, paste it and position it over the other two transitions. Play the sequence to see the final transitions.